Quench Juice Bar Philadelphia. Minority and vet owned using local vendors for their fruits and adding no added sugar to their products. Available on DoorDash and Grubhub. Grab yours today. Location, 1500 Market Street, Suite 1455 Philadelphia, PA. Grab yours today. What up, what up, y'all? It's your man Sam Ant here at Viral Hip Hop News. Do me a favor, hit that like button, smash that notification bell, and subscribe to the brand Viral Hip Hop News. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Let's get to work. First and foremost, special shout out to Quench Juice Bar Philadelphia. If you are in the tri state area, I seriously suggest you go check out Quench Juice Bar, military and minority owned. Brothers doing great things out there in Philadelphia. Please go support. All right, Will Smith, Philadelphia is owned. Will Smith, one of the greatest actors we have ever seen, one of the greatest actors we've damn sure seen in our in culture. Obviously got the layout going on for Bad Boys 4 with our brother Mike Martin Lowry Lawrence doing their Miami. thing. They're obviously doing their media run right now and during one of their media sessions. Will Smith drops some pretty profound shit. Now I know we often talk about actors and Hollywood and all this stuff and that this person sacrificed this. What did they have to do to get to the height of their career? What did they have to do? But you know one thing we don't bring up? Their motherfucking work ethic. You know one thing we don't bring up? Greatness. And how much they put in to their craft to get out what they've received and to be known as the people they are. I got a lot more to say in regards to that. But before I do, let's listen to what Will Smith had to say on an interview. I'm not sure what the interview is. Shout out to the brothers who conducted the interview. He's along with Will Smith doing their thing. But I want to listen to what, and I want you guys to listen to what Will Smith has to say, and then I'll come back with what I think about he, what he said, and uh, we'll take it from there. Let's go. The thing is that people don't really realize what it takes to win, right? And it's like there's a really, there's a really a great, a great quote. Don, Don Simpson, who was uh, one of the original pr producers of the first Bad Boys, and we saw a screen and it was really good. And he said, uh, you know, I said, man, I said, you know, it's good. It's, it's at about 90%, you know? And he said, the great thing about being at 90% is at least you know you're halfway there. Mm. Uh, <laughs> halfway, right? That's crazy. And I was like, and that has turned out to be so true. The difference between 90% and 100% is lifetimes of difference. The difference between a good player and a great player is light years. It's like, you know, my, my son was a chronic B student and he would get B's all the time. And he was like, Dad, you know, it's just, I really could get A's, you know, if I wanted to. And I was like, nigga, I promise you, you can. <laughs> Believe in yourself. I promise you, you can. You think that the difference between a B and an A is the same as the difference between a C and a B. Nigga, it's not. <laughs> it's not, right? It's like, you might have to eat differently. Like, you might have to change friends. You might have to study sleep you know, to get from, uh, from B's to A's. It's like the, the difference between good and great it is underestimated by most humans. It's like, if you wanna be good, you can be talented and be good. You can just, you can wake up and be good. Like, you know, but if you good and you just wake up and be good, you ain't, you're not gonna beat me. You're never gonna beat me if you're not like, if you're not doing, you know, 70 hour weeks on your craft, right? And it's like, that is such a hard thing to communicate to people. And it's even more difficult when people are talented, when people get a B easy. They think they got it. They think they got it, you know? And it's like, I'm telling you, it's like, it's not easy, but it is really simple to change your life. It's so simple. Right? People don't realize that one bad night fucks up 10. You can't have, you can't get drunk and fucking not work out on Saturday. <laughs> you can't, you, you mess up 10 days. Like somebody else is getting past you in that time. It's like the level of sharpness and discipline that it takes to get to the heights that that you dream of is really simple it's just not easy love that wow so while i'm getting fat somebody else <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. 
That's basically why, what you're saying. <laughs> While I'm getting fat, somebody else is. <laughs> yeah. So, no, listen. So, Martin, so we decided we were going to do Bad Boys 4, right? So, we talked, it's like, so what we do is we usually have one meeting before. So, I called him, so, hey, man, listen, we, we want to do it. We're going to have a meeting. So I go to the meeting, we haven't even decided we gonna do it, and he had lost 20 pounds. I was like, yo, what is you doing? <laughs> I want the surprise. <laughs> Yeah. But, but Will ain't gonna let you outdo him, so he, as soon as we finished, he left and went right to the gym. I got some key running up on the go work out. Man, I felt that shit so much. First and foremost, appreciate each and every one of you who are sticking around for the back end of this video. I wanted to say it in the beginning, but I also wanted you guys to hear what Will Smith had to say. That was the most important part of this content. So now I want to give my thoughts on the situation because I could not agree more. You go ahead and give 90% against me if you want to. You go ahead and give 90% against somebody out here striving to be great if you want to. 90% is only half the battle. When he talked about his son, I'm thinking about my son. I couldn't agree more. My son could get bees with his eyes closed, but it takes somebody special to be able to take it to the next level, sacrifice what you need to sacrifice to be great. And you know what we do in our culture? Unfortunately, sometimes when we don't strive to be great, when we don't strive for excellence, we like to make excuses on why other people are successful, why other people did reach their greatness, did reach their height. Illuminati this, sacrifice this, taking it in the ass this, taking it in the ass. We've heard so many things about Will Smith. Hell, we've talked about things about Will Smith on this platform. One thing you cannot take away from this brother is his greatness. His pursuit and his strive for excellence to be one of the greatest and baddest mother effers out here. While people are on their phones eating Cheetos, miserable about their life, typing and judging about other celebs that they watch and they, they idolize, he's putting in work. People are putting in work. Now, I know a lot of people call us sheep. Not a lot, but some people are oh, y'all sheep, y'all this, y'all that. Well, I'll tell you what. You're watching us right now. You're watching sheep right now in your eyes. So who's the sheep? You or I? Anyway... Salute to Will Smith, salute to anybody in particular in our culture who's out here putting in the work, putting in the sacrifice, putting in the time, not worried about what a motherfucker is saying, not worried about who's judging them, not worried about who people are going to claim they sacrificed or all this stuff. No, I think things going in Hollywood, don't get it twisted, I think things going in Hollywood, but let's not take away from the work, let's not take away from the ethic, let's not take away from greatness either. Will Smith, my friends, is great. Shout out to Will Smith. Shout out to each and every one of you. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this situation. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Sam Ant, CEO of the Brand Vile Hip Hop News, doing more content like this. There's a lot of drama. There's a lot of bullshit out there. Let's get back to the greatness. I love each and every one of y'all. Love yourselves. I'm out of here, man. Peace.